All right, I got an aftermarket rigid frame for a Harley Davidson engine, big twin. You know, it's for a big flathead, knucklehead, panhead, shovelhead, Evo engine. This one's actually getting a panhead in it, but it's already got a little bit of stretch to it. It's got four inches of stretch, 33 degree rake. I'm going to show you how I rake and stretch this frame the Billy Lane way, the Chopper's Inc. way. This is the way we've been doing it since the 90s, since the biker build-off days. So I'm going to show you how I do this. It's the right way to do it, quick way to do it, end up with an excellent result. As I said, I've got a 33-degree rake. If the neck was straight up and down, you'd have zero rake, and you rake it back 33 degrees. So this gravity protractor is going to come and show you that I have 33 degrees rake on it. But I want to run an 18-inch over Springer front end. And that 18-inch Springer... Is not going to work with 33 degree rake. So what I've done is set the Springer up where I want it to ride on the frame and then go back and cut the neck and rake this frame. Now there's a couple things to consider. My rear axle is at 12 inches off the deck of this table. My front axle, I have it 11 inches off the deck. The reason I have it at 11 inches is because when you put weight on this Springer, the weight of the motorcycle is going to push the axle up and get it to about 12 inches. It raises it about an inch. So I'm giving myself a little bit of extra length here, um, knowing that when I put the weight of the engine, the transmission, and all the parts on the motorcycle, it's going to sink it down, compress the Springer, and give me a negative ride height in the front. So I always run the front axle lower than the rear. Here you can see the neck angle of the frame and the angle of the stem from the fork, what a big difference it is. So I'm going to measure that angle now. Where I've got my fork, my rake's going to come out to be 45 degrees. If I run it where I have the fork set right now, my rake's going to be 45 degrees. I got the frame bolted down on my table here. This frame is not going to move. I'm going to cut this neck off, and I can slide this whole fixture away because everything's already lined up on the table. So I can slide this whole fixture away, reset the rake, on this fixture and we weld that neck to the frame in the exact same position but with 45 degrees rake. I know I've showed you this before but I got the clutch panoramic welding hood from Northern Tool but the great thing about it is I can put it on grind mode and use it as a face shield because I'm going to be cutting grinding welding right away so it's nice to have one thing I don't have stuff everywhere because once I get all my welding cables out and my cutting wheels and I got extension cords everywhere to cut this um, this is nice to have one piece, so highly re recommend you give it a try. I've been using it. Works for me. Let's get to it. Here we go. All right, so I've got the frame cut and fit to the neck really good. I cleaned the neck up. I've got my rake setting out 45 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and weld the neck into the frame and have my rake job done. I don't want to waste my stickers if it's not good, but if it is good, you got to go ahead and sticker it up. All right, I'm going to weld this neck up. All right, let's get right into some old school chopper fabrication. That's what I'm known for. I raked this motorcycle frame to accept this front end. This frame originally had, I think, 32 or 33 degree rake. I have it out about 46 degrees right now. Uh, it depends on 
where the frame's sitting with the back wheel, if the frame's sitting level or not. But with the frame level, it's 45 degrees, but it sits up a little bit higher in the front, so it's probably about 47 degrees. 18 inch over stock length Denver Springer from Mondo out in Nevada. I got a 240 rear tire on the rear end. This is super traditional chopper, zinc chopper from the late 90s, early 2000s. Got a 1965 panhead engine. It has a six speed in it right now, but the six speed's coming out and I'm putting a four speed in it. I made a set of my prison handlebars that I started making back in the late 1990s. Um, just really traditional lines, a lot like my chopper blue that so many of you know. So the 65 pan head has the same wheelbase as blue. It's kind of hard to see in this because blue is closer to you. But as I walk along and everything lines up, you can see that the wheelbase is the same. The rake is the same. The stretch on the Denver Springer is longer. It's six inches longer. This is a 12 inch over Paco Springer and that's an 18 inch over Denver Springer. But the reason is because the rockers are different. Look at the length and the shape of the rocker on a Denver Springer versus the Paco Springer. You can see why the length is different of the front end. So the, for basically the same rake and stretch, it requires six inches more on the Denver Springer, but they get you the same result. You can see those angles start to line up as I pull these two in alignment. But two very similar setups. Um, like I said to you a few minutes ago, traditional chopper zinc lines. I mean, this is the setup I got hooked on 25 years ago with my brother's 1947 knucklehead that he did that had this rake and stretch. I've just loved it ever since. The pan is going to get a similar tank to blue. I'm not really sure about the rear fender yet. We haven't decided on that. The pipes are going to be different, but I'm getting ready to make those parts and send this thing off to the paint. I've got my Harley 45 up against a chopper for comparison. The Harley 45 has basically stock wheelbase, stock rake, zero stretch in the frame. So I think you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about with frame rake and stretch, you can see that the neck on the chopper is way forward of the neck on the 45 WR racer. And that's because the frame is stretched in the backbone. And then it's up higher because it's stretched in the front down tubes too. And then of course I have the rake angle of the neck, which is 45 plus versus the 30 of the Harley Davidson WR 45 racer. And that gives you a pretty good example from stock dimensions, how rake can stretch turns a stock bike or a bobber into a chopper and that's really what the difference is you see how much higher the backbone is than the stock backbone in this frame which runs between the gas tanks you see how much higher the neck is and from the top it becomes really obvious how much longer that backbone of the frame is brakes on the WR so hold on. I'm really excited about this. I got a whole bunch of choppers coming out that I've been working on for quite a while that you guys haven't seen. So stay with me on this because more in-shop fabrication stuff from Billy Lane and Choppers Inc.